Hey there everybody, I was just going to make a video here. Uh, I'm kind of sick right now though, but um, I haven't made a video in a while, but I went to a swap meet yesterday in Jefferson County, Wisconsin, it's somewhere around there. Um, yeah, so this this is what I came back from, came back with from the swap meet. Got a Briggs five horse right here, just your typical 13 cubic inch block. Um, you know, let's see, right over here is where they have the numbers, but uh, yeah, the, the model number is 130202. Nice little hat there too. Got some kind of a random carburetor. Got that for a dollar, along with this parts engine. It's just a Briggs Quantum. <sighs> this is the cart I used. This is exactly what I wound up using. It actually worked out pretty well too. It is kind of a little bit redneck, but it's fine with me. Well, there you go. It's just a parts engine from Toro. He said he, he bought this engine just for the gas tank. After that, he was kind of just yeah done with it. And then he took the recoil off too. But for the most part, it's actually not that bad. There's the code numbers right there. You can see them. This is a nine, uh, 1991 model. Yeah. This is hard to move. I got that parts engine for five bucks. This one. It's so got a little bit of rot going on on the muffler, but that's okay. Uh, gas tank isn't original, I doubt, based on the color. It's model, model type and code numbers over there. Uh, it's probably too hard to see, but. This is a 1974, so it's probably so it has the the points and condenser system for for its ignition. Uh, for 40 bucks, it's got a nice decal still there. Next is that one. This one. This one is a 50s model. Not sure anything else about it. It was missing the air cleaner. I got this one for $20. That's why I jumped on it. There's another one just like it, although it was missing the gas tank, the carburetor, and the muffler, and the spark plug, and the the recoil was broke. And he wanted, I believe it was $10 for that one. Which I thought wasn't bad, but that was just as I walked into the swap meet, so I decided to not buy it right away and keep looking around and 
I later on found this one for just ten dollars more and it's virtually complete as I said missing the air cleaner I'm not sure what this is for is that for maybe winter use or something and then the muffler has a lot of rot it's in very bad shape It moves quite a bit too when you start to, you know, just play with it and in fact, while transporting that engine, that's all the rust that just came straight out of it. That's all rust that came came from the muffler. So I'll have to replace it. I do have have an aftermarket part that's all shiny and stuff like that but uh tank I believe was dry pretty dirty inside of there too. I have no idea what the oil looks like. Um, however, it doesn't leak, so that's good. This one has this fancy little loop that works the choke. what this thing right here is for though it might be something for throttle setup or something maybe I'm not sure Yes, think in this one I believe is dry too. Yeah, so there's not really anything in there. It's pretty dirty though. This is just a quick video on everything I got at the Jefferson County swap meet. Uh, July, or no, uh, April 30th of 2011. So, I apologize for not actually taking any videos while I was at the swap meet. Um, you know, I'll do that I'll do that next time or some other time. But uh thanks for watching. Bye.